Hey everyone, Jason from Make Care here with another Carvera how-to. And in this one, we are talking about Auto Z leveling. Every Carvera is equipped with a wireless Z probe, which can be selected automatically using the multi-tool changer. This probe is used to determine the height or the thickness of our stock in order to make setting our origin points and preparing our jobs seamless. However, the wireless probe can also be used to automatically level your stock too. Let's say that you're working with stock which is rough cut or has an uneven top surface. If you were only to probe in a single location, you would get inconsistent cutting whenever the thickness of your stock deviates from that location in which you probed. But with auto Z leveling enabled, the wireless probe reads the Z height at multiple points, then makes a map of your stock to automatically adjust the Z height during machining based on the curvature or changes in your stock thickness. It's pretty cool, right? And it's not only for when you're working with rough stock, but if you're working with thinner materials like plastic or PCBs that might be warped, this will allow you to get a consistent cut as you're working with the machines because the Carvera will automatically adjust its Z while it's machining. Now to demonstrate this, I have a flat piece of plywood which I'm going to secure so it's intentionally warped. But the design that I've created is perfectly flat in 2D. I want to machine shallow pockets that are only 1.5 millimeters deep into my stock. And if I only probed at a single point, I might miss the lowest points of the stock, or I might plunge all the way through the highest points depending on how warped this is. But as I configure to run this job, I can enable auto Z leveling. Here we can set the clearance height, which is how much the probe will lift before moving to the next point, and the number of probing points for the X and Y axes. Basically, the greater the warp or change in Z height, the more clearance you need to prevent the probe from crashing into your stock. And the more points that you have, the more accurately Carvera will automatically compensate for the changes in Z height during machining. After probing multiple points, we can see that the Carvera is automatically adjusting the Z height during machining, despite my design working on a flat piece of stock. This allows for my pockets to be cut at the same depth across my warped piece of material. And that's really all there is to it. There are plenty of circumstances where auto Z leveling might come in handy, and in all of them, this will allow for greater success and easier setup during the machining process. Thanks for watching, and of course, please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for future how-to guides and project posts at the Makehara channel.